Hermiston, Oregon, is an awful long way from Shenzhen, China, or Washington, D.C. But this rural part of eastern Oregon finds itself right smack dab in the middle of the U.S. government's escalating fight against the Chinese electronics giant Huawei. That's because Eastern Oregon Telecom, which is based here and serves roughly 4,000 local customers, relies on Huawei equipment to provide phone and internet service. It's better equipment, it's easier to use, it lasts forever, and it's cheaper than anything that else that's out there. Joe Fresnel, the chief executive at Eastern Oregon Telecom, signed up to use the Chinese giant's equipment almost five years ago. We've got switches, power supplies. Huawei has been actively courting small-town internet companies in hopes of breaking into the U.S. market. So I thought, well, now that's different because every other equipment manufacturer out there that we had dealt with before that, I had to, I had to beg for attention because we're so small. And, and so here's this giant equipment manufacturer who says, no, no, we think you're really important. Fresnel says thanks to Huawei's cheaper prices and quality gear, Eastern Oregon Telecom has been able to expand service, which is no small feat out here. Every dollar matters. Every dollar matters. But Eastern Oregon Telecom and other small regional carriers who rely on Huawei fear they may have to rework their systems because of the U.S. government's crackdown on Chinese telecoms. But I think China writ large is the most significant counterintelligence threat we face. In January, intelligence officials and lawmakers suggested telecommunications companies like Huawei and ZTE could be exploited by the Chinese government to spy or launch cyber attacks. How many of you would use a telecom product made by Huawei and ZTE? Uh, Senator, I, I would personally, I would think we ought to talk about these kinds of things in a <laughs> uh, closed session. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon serves on the Senate Intelligence Committee. They have said as a general proposition, American companies should be careful about dealing with this firm. Huawei stresses the allegations simply aren't true. And Fresnel says he's seen no reason to doubt them, adding many other technologies from China are in the global supply chain. So to just say Chinese equipment is bad and we're going to ban Huawei doesn't solve the problem because most everything's manufactured there anyway. Fresnel hopes people understand this international dispute touches real customers who need connectivity in remote parts of eastern Oregon and beyond. Fresnel admits worst case scenario ban on Chinese telecom equipment wouldn't put him out of business, although it would delay expansion for at least two years. And Eastern Oregon Telecom is not alone. Fresnel said he knows of at least three other telecoms in Oregon using Huawei gear, but he didn't feel comfortable telling us exactly who they were or where they were located. So interesting, it is really interesting. And, and troubling that we can't get U.S. equipment and U.S. companies to help these folks in rural areas. Right, or at a reasonable price. That's really right. the challenge here, too. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. So if you have a story idea for Kyle to investigate, simply uh, give him a call, 503-226-5041, or you can email callkyle at kgw.com.